And you can see a sketch I didn't like there, so we're just gonna cover that. <laughs> uh, all right, how to break down a head uh, really easily. So, get the direction line of which way the head's facing. There's a circle. There's a lower portion of the jaw, which will be about what half of the circle is down, so then you break it, uh, the head into thirds. Um, from this full line, break that in half. You are now going to ignore these thirds, uh, and you're going to go on eighths. So you've got one, two, oh shit, three, four, five, six, seven, and the bottom of the chin is eight. All right, that should be a bit there. All right, do, 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 do. Okay, so usually the hairline, or the hair will hit like somewhere in here. Uh, that'll be your hairline on a face on view. So let's just go over here and we've got one, two, three. This is like one eighth, and then this is the one half, and that is one. Quarter? Yeah, quarter. That's one quarter. Yeah. There you go, that's an eighth. Cool. Okay, so hairline. Oh god, I gotta get through this really fast. Um, the head shape you can, like, obviously adjust as you go. Um, that'll be your brow line forehead and in between here you can like push and pull the hairline if you so wish brow line uh, your ears will sit between <coughs> chocolate so I'm putting the eyes here do, 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 do. so your ear the top of the ear will normally hit somewhere on the brow line and then the bottom of the ear will go to the nose and then you'll have an ear, and the attachment point for the ear to the head is at the eye line. So we have eye, and then we have the nose line, which is, again, on the quarter to do, and on this eighth line right here, you will have the mouth, it'll be the middle of the mouth, and all these proportions can be adjusted slightly. The only thing you really need to know about the width and where to place the eyes, those eyes are too big, you can push and pull that, is that the eyes are usually, there are five eyes you can fit from this portion to this portion of the head, so eyeballs. This video went too fucking long. And then there are the planes of the face and stuff like that, and that's just used to apply shadow and tone to describe the face. And then you can just add some hair. Hair. So, yeah, ears. Take out the unibrow. And the eyebrows can like fall lower as well, because I put those way too high. Like, they are on that line. I put them above the line, because I'm a dink. Anyway. Um, yeah, so then just pull the hair down. Play around with that. You can play around with face shape. And to get, if you are doing portraits, there is an angle from the corner of the eye to the nose, to the mouth, and it will hit the nostril, and then it'll, like, meet at the middle of the lip. So if you have proportional issues that are happening, you can just use that line, and it'll, it'll tell you some things. Do, 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 do. And then we go like so, which is describing the orbital, orbital cavity, and then I like to give a little bit of a line on the nose, so I can describe, describe one of the planes there, and then push the eyes back with some shading. Ta-da! Four minute video on drawing the head, with all my rambling. Hey. Ask questions, I will answer. Cheers.